Hi, and welcome to this section of the Probability and Statistics Tutor. And in this section, we're going to switch gears just a little bit and tackle the topic of mathematical expectation, okay? Uh, this section has a long name. It sounds really formal and complicated, but actually it's one of the shortest sections in the whole thing here and one of the easiest to understand. So mathematical expectation, what does it mean? <clears throat> just like I usually do, I want to start out with an example because I think it'll make it easy, okay? Let's say uh, there's a raffle at the uh, school or something, and there's a thousand raffle tickets, and you buy one of those tickets. And the grand prize is, what is the grand prize? $500, okay? So you know that, you know, you're going to buy one of these tickets, and there's a chance you're going to win uh, $500, okay? Uh, there's also a very likely chance you won't win anything at all. Okay, that's the way it is with, with raffle tickets or lottery tickets, okay? So what you know in specific is, if you think about it, you know that only one person is going to win this thing. And so then, therefore, 999 uh, people are going to actually lose. And that's assuming all the tickets are sold, right? So one person wins and 999 people lose. So it's not very great odds you're going to win anyway. The winner is going to get $500 and uh, 999 losers are all going to get nothing, $0. So it's a, it's a winner-take-all kind of thing. That's what a lottery is, okay? So if you, you, you engage in these things, right, as a, as a human being, because you're, you're hoping that you're going to be the one that, that, that wins. You're going to be the hoping that you're going, to get, you're going to be the one that actually wins the $500. But you know in your heart that you're probably going to be one of the 999 people that gets nothing at all, okay? But on average, what would uh, be the expected value coming out of this thing? On average, okay? I, I, I mean, you know that you have a chance of winning 500 bucks you know there's a very likely chance you'll win nothing, but if you look at everything on the whole, what would be the average, if you did this experiment over and over and over and over again, what would be the average uh, amount of money that you would win? Well, if we look at this, we could say that the expectation, the mathematical expectation, it's a big word, that's all it is, for this experiment would be equal to, and I'm just going to tell you what it is, uh, the probability that you're going to win, which is one out of a thousand, one chance to win out of a thousand tickets times the grand prize, which is $500. Okay, now let's take a look at this. What's this going to be? 500 divided by a thousand is going to be one half. The unit is dollars. So, 50 cents. That is the expectation. What does this mean? Okay, 50 cents. This means precisely the following thing. It means that we know that there's a chance I'm going to win money, a lot of money, $500, but we know the odds are very low of that happening. So if we look on the whole, on the average, then if I did this experiment a whole bunch of times, millions of times, on average, I would win 50 cents. Sometimes I'd win the $500 every now and then. Most of the time I'm going to win nothing at all. But on average, if I ran this experiment and entered 5 million lotteries, on average, I would win 50 cents, you know, if you look kind of at the whole. Uh, if you average it all out, okay? And that's all it is. So le this leads you to the definition of mathematical expectation that you'll just see in your book. And basically it goes like this. It says, if the probabilities, if the probabilities of obtaining the amounts Uh, amounts A1, I'll explain this in a minute, A2, A3, dot, 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 up to AK are uh, equal to P1, P2, P3, dot, 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 PK, then the 